Robert Smith. I'm here in North Carolina and I want to share a little bit about why and how we do things, even if we don't even know why we do it, and why we do it, and how we do it, how, why. You can see it's interesting how our minds work and I've noticed that when I'm working with people that within them they have an idea or a concept, basically a how-to, otherwise known as an imprinted belief and idea. Of course, you know, most people believe that, that we're imprinted the first six years of our life, which we are, but that doesn't stop or continue throughout our entire life. We're imprinted with ideas, emotions, and experiences, and from these experiences, we operate as if it were true. And so what we want to do is figure out how to change these emotional imprint and actually to re-imprint. So one of the earliest noted or even written about that I'm aware of is uh, The February Man by Milton Erickson where he had a young lady that um, had this big fear and he helped her go in and re imprint or give her a new set of memories to replace the old ones. I know for some people think it's kind of strange. What do you mean change the memories? Uh, Re-imprint. Basically give you a new how-to. And, and, and it's interesting is that we do that even at a conscious or unconscious level. That means you know you, you used to believe one thing and then all of a sudden you have a new belief because a new concept will come in, you know, and it's interesting, you know, the, uh, you've probably seen photos of little ducky following around a dog or a cat or even the scientist, he would even imprint a duck to a balloon and even giraffes, you know, the mother just gave birth to the giraffe and then killed and this little giraffe, baby giraffe, hadn't imprinted its mother yet. And so what it did, it noticed the jeep. And so this little giraffe started following around the jeep. And of course, um, the, those who drove the jeep fed the jeep, fed the uh, giraffe. And the interesting thing is when we get older, the little duck who was imprinted with a balloon wasn't interested in little duck, in, in adult ducks anymore, but rather they were interested in round objects. Same as the giraffe. It wasn't interested in other giraffes, but jeeps. Now you think about even your life, you know, we've seen it before, and I know you've experienced it personally, that you have a tendency to keep dating, marrying, or having a relationship with characters that are very, very similar to where you came from. from those who had strong emotional input in your life, and usually it's your parents. It could be others. And then all of a sudden, you keep repeating the cycle over and over again. And so, one of the things that Faster EFT teaches is the idea of re-imprinting. That means going back to the original memory and changing the original memory to where it's a positive outcome. We call it the flip. That means when you go to a memory, it's really, really bad, it's really, really sad, it's not so healthy. And then we release the emotions by using the tapping process. And as we release the emotions, the memory in of itself will begin to flip. Which means it's now you're no longer being yelled at, but now your kind words are being said. Positive experiences are now being uh, installed. Because you have to understand, I know people say, well, don't screw with my memory. You know, I'd, who would I be? And I said, well, you'll still be you. You can still create problems, but memories are a synthetic process. And what I mean is that memories are created by those who hold those. And you can change your memories. The, the problem is that if you don't change your memories, you're gonna keep getting the same thing over and over and over again. And I believe that's the definition of sanity, thinking things will get better if you keep doing the same things over and over again. So. With, with the EFT, faster EFT style, what we're doing is we're going in and we're creating changes and as you change the unconscious imprint and it's sitting now in the background of your mind, you'll naturally start picking and performing and acting 
completely different. And that's really what you what it's all about is changing who you are, what you're doing, and how to get something better. Now, of course, some people think, well, I have a saboteur within, I have a tendency to always sabotage in my thoughts. But in reality, there is no saboteur within, and you're not really sabotaging yourself, but you're keeping yourself in alignment with the unconscious, imprinted experiences, ideas, and concepts. And there's, these are what you call values, and they become very important. So what we want to do is, is go in and change the imprint. And of course, when you re-imprint your life, that means you redesign your life. Right? You need something a lot different. So I hope that makes sense to you. And so there are many processes, and most of you have been watching my videos and you realize that I'm not using traditional style EFT. The style that I use is a lot simpler. And definitely traditional EFT is easy compared to psychotherapy or any other type of therapy. But what I've done is I've taken EFT and I've streamlined it. I've cleaned it up to where it's fast, it's easy, it's direct and to the point and I take the woo-woo out. And what I mean by the woo-woo, now I know Gary, he probably isn't so woo-woo, but there's a lot of others who go into the woo-woo nuts. That means they go out into the, all kinds of weird ideas and matrices and dynamic craziness and, and just, just different things. Now, I, I want to speak to the common man. I mean, most people, when, when they hear some of this stuff, they say, well, it's just too far out there. Well, I just want to be normal. I want to be like the average Joe Blow on the street with a good idea and a good understanding. And so if you understand that there is logic behind why and how we have problems, and when you understand the logic, you can also understand the emotional dynamics behind changing you. Now, you have to realize, too, that you can logically understand no and how and why you have your problems, but logic doesn't change your problem. So what kind of logic are you talking about, Robert? I said there is a logic to the unconscious, the unconscious mind, and how it generates and creates what you do and what you don't want. That's the logic. So you step into the emotional dynamics and how you step into the emotional understanding of what you do within you and how you use your mind to manifest and produce problems. It is truly amazing that that somebody can be talking about something and the uh, in one of the individuals will use their inner references and make a major decision and that inner reference is a faulty reference and their decision isn't a very good decision. And it's because inside of us we have emotional imprints. Now an emotional imprint is not only how to respond, but who we think we are. And so we use these. And so what we want to do is if you don't like what you're currently getting, wow, that water just all the way up here. Anyway, I'm back again. The waves are coming in pretty strong. And so, anyway, so, so when you understand how to use the emotional system that always works, and that is the unconscious mind system, now, the unconscious mind has its resources. It operates within images, it operates within movies, slideshows, voices, your voices, their voices, songs. It operates from tastes, smells. It operates from uh, sensations in your body, feelings, and we sometimes label them as emotions. And then also, it operates from, there's a mind, there's a part of our mind that accumulates this information and it starts generating programs on how to and what to do without you consciously being aware of it. And so when we start stepping into the mind and understanding how it process information, then you can go and create some changes. I, release it, I recently upgraded the million dollar process and I renamed it because I've added more steps to it that actually creates what you want. It's called the art of change. Aim, release, and transform. Aim, release, and transform. The art of change. Now the nice thing about this, this, this pattern that I have is that any problem you can put into this and you can change that problem and create something totally different. And that is the art of change. And of course, we also have the universal pattern of belief. That means every belief will operate within this pattern and you can create any belief about yourself. And of course, you know, we do have uh, 
easier ways to tap. You don't have to know why you have the problem. You, have to, you don't even have to know where it came from. All you have to do now currently is notice how you know you have the problem. That means you may not have any content of where it came from or the resources, and you can still change it by using this pattern that we're teaching. And then also you can mentally tap in your mind tap. That means there's no even those. We almost never say even though. The only time that it will ever use an even though, I call it making peace. Even though I have this problem, I accept it. Even though I have this problem, I lovingly approve of myself. That's making peace. And we don't use it as an aiming process anymore because what Faster MT does, we aim directly to the problem, we look at the structure, and we create big, major shifts. And of course, we're using the super power tap, we use the shelving technique, we use the um, quick tap, which by the way is the powerhouse, and of course we always fall back to the parts and pieces. And we have great skills to pull you out of the major emotional boo-hoos. And this is Robert Smith, and all your problems actually start with you and are created by you. So this is Robert Smith. I hope this has helped you, and uh, keep on tapping on you, and I'll see you at one of the training seminars, or the Tap Fest. And we'll talk to you later. Ciao.